reply. I, I think when I was when I was growing up, I think um, Lego and Subutio loomed large in my life. Were they were they big things for you? Lego was huge. In fact, I once swallowed a Lego man, and the family had to come around and examine my stools for the next few days <laughs> yeah. as we waited for this live version of the movie Inner Space yeah. to happen. <laughs> And he came out about three days later. Horrifically, I'd wiped the enzymes in my body, had removed his facial features. <laughs> but his helmet didn't come out. So, and to, to the best of my knowledge, it has never come. So wow. it's we're in here it's somewhere is a tiny helmet. So, <laughs> so to speak. They're incredibly powerful brand names, both of them, I think. And, and you sort of don't stop to think about what they mean as words. And then the other day, I thought, I'm going to stop and think about what they mean as words. Uh, and I now know. I think a lot of people might know where Lego comes from. You, you're nodding, Ed. Where does Lego come from? Oh, it's uh, named after the guy who invented it, who was an Irish man who had one leg. He was called Lego Pego. Yeah, <laughs> absolutely. Why is he Irish? Why, what was the addition of Irishness to this? <laughs> it's just a fact. That's who he that's was. That's just a fact. That's just a fact about the person. <laughs> Lego Pego. Yeah, Lego Pego. Oh, Pego. so you're like O apostrophe, like yeah, yeah. my name. Yeah. Oh, yeah. You should have known that, really, because your name is David O'Doherty, so... Yeah, it's similar to Leg O Pego, <laughs> isn't it? <laughs> when you think about it, it's the same. <laughs> it's actually... It actually Lego comes from uh, the Danish words uh, leg got, which means play well in Danish. What about subutio? Where do you think the word subutio might come from? A bit of Latin can help you here. So sub meaning it was originally played on new boats and <laughs> uh, butio meaning uh, a goal. So, yeah, sub submarine goals. Yeah. This is basically ungettable, you either know it or you don't. What it actually means is, uh, near to a buzzard. <laughs> uh, <laughs> of course. Subutio was invented by a man called uh, Peter Adolf, and he wasn't just a game inventor, he was, as this plaque explains, also an ornithologist. Now, there is a bird, the Eurasian hobby, and the binomial name is Falco Subutio. And the Falco bit is because it's a type of falcon, but the Subutio comes from the Latin sub and buteo. Sub means near to, and buteo means buzzard. It's becoming obvious now, isn't it? Oh, yeah. It's becoming obvious. <laughs> Basically, what he's done is an ornithologist joke. He'd invented a hobby, so he named it after the Eurasian hobby. <laughs> <laughs> that was it. It's as simple as that. It's yes. just bizarre. I, kind of, I like these old-fashioned trademarks where a bit of Latin helps you on your way. I like things like, like Bovril. I like to see it surviving on the high street. Uh, just for a bonus point, does anyone know what is the origin of the name Bovril? It's not a glamorous product, is it? These, <laughs> there's no such thing as a Bovril influencer these days. <laughs> you ever look at Instagram and someone's like, mmm, tastes like horse. <laughs> Well, Bov has got to be bovine. Bovine, yeah. yeah. I had always assumed it was bov for bovine, but actually it splits differently. It's bow and vril. vril. I vril drink your drink. <laughs> <laughs> I vril drink your drink. <laughs> no, 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 no. The least dangerous vampire of all time. <laughs> <laughs> I vril drink your drink. Thank you. That's Thank a bit you annoying. That's a bit annoying, Vlad, but there we go. Thank you for your hospitality. <laughs> Yeah, but it's not a bad idea. If there was a vampire it, that was attacking the city, if you had a mug of Bovril beside you, mm. chances are they get the same irony goodness they get from yeah, main veining yeah, yeah, you yeah, yeah. from yes. the Bovril. So uh, it functions so... the same as garlic or a cross. Have a cup of Bovril. <laughs> <laughs> so our final answer is, I real drink your drink, Dave. <laughs> well, the, the bow does come from, from beef, it's ox. And oh. Vril, Vril is the mysterious life force in an 1871 sci-fi novel called The Coming Race. As you can see, it is a novel by Edward Bulwer-Lytton, and it's worth knowing that, because if you went to the wrong kind of school, it's also a game you played with biscuits. <laughs> um, so uh, it is there, and as you can see, some readers have believed the account of a superior subterranean master race and the energy form called Vril. Why are they letting these nerds name all this stuff? Like, <laughs> this is ridiculous. It doesn't make any sense. Uh, now, a tricky one. Who could possibly discern where this name comes from? What are the components of this name? Rento Kill. <laughs> what could possibly be going on there? 
what I enjoy about it is, you know, it's it's. It, it's implying they'll do any job from the title. <laughs> <laughs> that you could ring them up to deal with an annoying housemate. But also, you know, if you're on the savannah and you're a zebra, you could ring them up to take out a, a lion that's been hassling <laughs> your... Yeah. Or is it named after an Irish man? Uh. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. Only You only have to take the L off to make it less sinister, and it turns into a cute thing. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but the L, it's like, oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> it's like the typographical equivalent of something being 4 99 to be less than a fiver. Exactly. That's exactly Kill with yeah. one L. It's a bit more fun, isn't it? <laughs> it's fun, fun, it's flirty, it's, it's great. It's great. <laughs> so I had to phone them, and it's in fairness to them, it's the only company ever you don't have to tell them what to do. You know what I mean? It's the closest I'll ever get to a mafia conversation where I'm just like, I have a problem and I need it to go away. Can I just ask what size phone you have? <laughs> <laughs> You were holding one of the mice and you were trying to whisper so he didn't hear what you were doing. <laughs> <laughs> Need you to deal with it. It's fine, don't worry. <laughs> <laughs> um, well, kill is obviously kill. Weirdly, the ento is there because of, of Latin. Ento is insects, like entomology is the study of insects. Oh, wow. uh, the man who set up rent kill he set it up because he was being hired to help clear out an infestation of death watch beetles in the Houses of Parliament. <laughs> Uh, he wanted to call the company Entokill, but there was already an existing trademark Entokill, and so he called it Rentokill instead. But there is no getting away from the fact that the company is a company you can rent to kill things. And like you, Rose, I enjoy the coyness of, of the kill. And I think the O in the middle has a little hint of filet fish <laughs> <laughs> A nice little detail for it, isn't it? He's actually my cousin, guys. So <laughs> <laughs> Let's have a look at the, the Renta Kill website. I do enjoy their website. I especially like the drop down menus. You can choose what kind of pest you want them to deal with and what kind of premises they're in. I particularly Absolutely. enjoyed the fact that you can choose them to deal with bats in your belfry. <laughs> <laughs> You can't really. I photoshopped that. Uh, <laughs> I'm so sorry, but come on. You want it. We want it to be true, don't we? We want it to be true. There's some com I think saying you've got anything in your business sounds really rude. <laughs> <laughs> I've got ants in my business. <laughs> also, where they've put the plus in the picture implies that the lady is a form of pest <laughs> as <Yeah>. well. <laughs> I've got an enormous woman trying yeah. to get into yeah. my conservatory. You, you take her out at the knee and I'll go for the shot. <laughs> <laughs> we are so used to seeing the brand name Rentacle. I think we kind of forget, in a way, that it means hired killers, don't we? We kind of just sort of blasé about it. There is a very good reason why they can't call the company hired killers which is that there's already a pest control company called Hired Killers. <laughs> this is the most terrifying thing I have seen in a while. This is a bit outright sinister, basically. That's dreadful. Our expert technicians are trained to kill, all while bringing you peace of mind. <laughs> <laughs> it's like the worst mafia cover story of all time. <laughs> it really is. On this page, I have... Uh, I've sort of covered up two buttons, the one surrounded in yellow there. Let's, go, let's deal with the one in the bottom, first of all. What could that be? Um, trying to kill. Okay. The level of violence you would like them to bring. Yeah. yeah. Is, it, um, is it choose your fighter? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> closer than you might think. Oh. <laughs> is, it, is it method of kill? Mm. Um, well, it's sort of... I'll, I'll just show you. It's contractor killer. <laughs> Falling. Now, let's move top right. Is that one just immediate kill? <laughs> <laughs> you just press it and then they just kill everything in a five-mile yeah. radius. You, just, you enter a postal code and they just nuke it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, no, the first one is contractor killer. The second one is pay your invoice. <laughs> More you threatening would, on that you? website. Yeah. <laughs> you <laughs> certainly you would. Voice. These things are so ridiculous, they seem made up. So I thought we'd see if you can spot a real pest control company from a fake pest control company. Let's start with this one. Stealth Pest Control. I don't think that's real. No. I, I mean, it's too, it's n there's not enough violence in it. The colours are wrong. You know, green, the colour of life and Ireland. Yeah, and also the, the, the word stealth. It's like, are you sneaking up on... Them. Like, like breaking know. the mice necks like that. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah. 
but you're saying fake, are I, you? I don't think it's real, but I think it's very well made to whoever on production did it. Yeah. <laughs> OK. Great use of Well, it wasn't on our production. It was on Saxondale, the Steve Coogan comedy. Oh. Stealth Pest <laughs> Control, that was what oh, that fuck one was then. rubbish logo. <laughs> <laughs> Let's have a look at another one. Uh, <laughs> Pest Control, oh. Inc, R.I.P. Real or fake? Real. I really want I mean, to that's real. not what you want to see on any gravestone. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I guess it's probably the main cost of getting Pest Control Inc. to do it is they have to make all the tombstones <laughs> of every animal they kill. Um, I, I think that's too weird to be fake. I think that'd be real. I don't you know. think real? OK. Mm. It's real. Uh, there they are. Pest Control Inc. R.I.P. Um, it's a, an American company. Uh, this one's an Australian company and they have gone for a very similar themed logo. No. Yeah. I love that! Wow. Yeah. All in the same grave. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, there's a tragedy to it, which is it appears like all those animals have gone to the funeral to pay their respects. <laughs> <laughs> In which case, I mean, if, if that's the plan, it's not a bad idea. You just go to the house and be like, uh, just to let everyone know, there will be a funeral tomorrow at 3 p.m. <laughs> and everyone turns up and then you're just like, ah! <laughs> <laughs> Let's have a look at another one. Assassin. Is the is the ant giant or the gun tiny? I don't know. Either way, I think taking an ant out with a gun is going to have a lot of collateral damage. <laughs> well, it's just where they've put the second A implies the company is called Ass Ass In. <laughs> <laughs> So, do you think real or fake? I'll say real. Real. It looks slick. I think it's real. Real. I'm hoping for real. It's mm -hmm. real. Okay, let's have a look. And there you go. <laughs> there he is. <laughs> There's the big boy. Well, I think you're all pretty brilliant. You understand your pest control companies from the fakes. Uh, but the person who's taking the points for that round is Mr. Ed Gamble, ladies and gentlemen. Congratulations. <laughs>